gonna solo this. Or, well, I was gonna say fine, so it's fine. It's fine, we got the dash attacks. Good dash attacks from both characters. Ooh, chasing his jumps. Fox, he's, he can't jump as high as Greninja can, but he's fast enough to contest. And then that, that's what matters in this matchup, especially with someone like Adi who plays super fast, especially when he's feeling himself. Um, but of course, Venya also wants to just make stocks explode, so this is gonna be a fast set, no matter how you look at it. Venya already looking like he's gonna lose his stock, barely hang hanging on. Back airs are out. All right, yeah. Venya now deciding to play neutral. Oh no, he's just gonna go for the dash attack. And Adi gonna punish that immediately. Up smash gonna read the roll. Not gonna work out. Oh, oh okay. Oh no, you do want to land on him. That's exactly what Venya didn't want to do. Uh, but it ended up happening, happening anyway, but Adi not going to react fast enough. And we still have Venya on his first stock. Reads the jump, but like I said before, Venya's... Venya. Greninja's jumps are super high. You really got to commit to punishing them. Oh, you, you know he's already looking for the, da the dash attack or the down tilt. Down tilt preferably, because you get the confirmed up smash. Dash attack would cause a 50-50 right about now. These percent. Venya pairing a lot more. As we saw earlier in bracket. Is he going to go for the fair? No, he's going to wait for the landing, but the... I think he, he might have just missed, but you do get some iframes from footstooling your opponents. Oh, I, speaking of iframes, Shine coming out clutch. Oh, oh, and another one. He doesn't air dodge this time. Could have got to punish both of them, could have. And it's just Spaghetti Central right now. That's... Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me? Uh, yeah, uh, no. No, you're right. He's going for that illusion earlier, but this one's gonna take it. I don't know if fair or forward throw is gonna take it. At that point, dousing the fox, and we have an even game. Oh, we're almost, yeah, we're two minutes in at this point. Both, both players respecting each other's neutral, but both of them knowing that they can just take 60 out of nowhere. Adi with the jab. Venya with the fares. Oh, and we're seeing, it's its really all about who's landing the dash attacks, I feel. Especially when they're in, when they're scrambling to fight each other. Up air, I mean, up tilt, up tilt, to down smash. We saw that earlier in bracket, I did not know it was a thing, but it seems really true. Wow! The wave land into up smash. Sorry to scream, guys. That was sick. Adi only taking 10%, or 15 now, but on that second stock, nearly a perfect stock for him. Uh, just a minute ago. Gonna see what he can do with this momentum. Uh, back air. Gonna put him in a tech situation. Venya reading. Getting 50. 70. I don't think this is gonna take it just yet. The charge, though, just gonna fall out. Venya not too happy about uh, the, the sour spot hitting of all things. Oh, back air. I don't think Ven I don't think Greninja as a character is too good at, uh, at ledge trapping. But it's still Greninja an advantage at the end of the day. It's always scary. Firefox a bit above the ledge. Venya wasn't ready for it. And we're back to taking damage from Fox. Forward tilt. I don't know if you guys know. You probably don't because it's innocuous Greninja stuff. But Greninja's hurt box shifts on frame one when he goes for a forward tilt. Not going to matter. Nair to up smash. Going to take it. Two stock coming out from Adi. Really fast up. Really fast uh, match. I'm pretty sure we all can tell. Venya not too happy about that, but I mean, we've been losing game ones all day today. That's just what happens. Uh, where are we going? Kalos, actually. Adi resetting his controller. That's always kind of, I feel like it's disrespectful when you beat someone and then you reset your controller after. It's kind of like, eh. Yeah, that was good, but I could have done way better. Which is the attitude you should have, but, you know. I you think it's it. more like just, you know, resetting yourself. New game, new you. I've never thought about it like that. Well, yeah. That's why I'm bringing it up. Ooh. Oh! Dash attack, of course. Thanks, Devin. Anytime. Oh, yo! Okay, so instead of jumping immediately uh, back onto stage, which is what Adi was prepared for, Venya going for the wall jump into back air. Gonna get him the stage. And now we have more dash attacks coming out. Dousing the fox again. Not gonna get the punish this time. 
but he catches his jump, and if he recognizes he's going for the... Yeah, he definitely, he definitely knew. Oh, F smash? No, doesn't cover the jump onto stage, but the hitbox came out really quick. So, we're back in neutral. Adi looking for one or two conversions. Venya just looking for the one. Adi's probably just going to hide on hide in his shield more, yeah, because he knows he knows Venya just wants the, the setup. And Adi, good to know, Adi does play this character. I was going to say, it's going to be hard to surprise him, but I guess not. Shadow Sneak going to take it. I got to say, Shadow Sneak, you know, being able to use it twice in the air is still pretty, it's still a, a pretty good mix-up. Just that, you know, you already committed to the option. There's, if you go for a 1F smash, there's no way you're going to do it again. But as we know, that's still a mix-up at the end of the day. Oh! And I was, so, I was so ready to see the early Greninja combos, but Adi keeping it even, keeping it competitive in this game too. Uh, I'm interested to see how the stage is going to play down the line. I know it gave Venya an extra option hopping onto stage with just the wall jump and the wall, or the wall cling. While Fox can wall jump, uh, it's still not the same as cling to the wall. Um, but we see Adi taking the lead after falling behind. Venya only getting 9% since, since he spawned. We're going to see a dash attack. No, up tilt. And come out instead. Ooh, Adi was ready for that. I don't think the up smash would have killed, but it definitely would have sent a message. So we got intense neutral. Oh, what? barely. So, so, so sour spot nair into fair is true. It's way harder to get the the sweet spot nair into its fair. But Venya showing that he can he can cut like Jens Barber, as is the motif of today. Oh, up air is coming out. 30% again. We saw last time Venya got Adi to 30%. Adi took the stock, but this time we're seeing 40. We're seeing 50. All these up airs. Seeing 80. And this is looking like a reverse from last game. Yes, wall cling again. Waiting for Adi to pick an option. At that point, Venya's not even planning to do anything. He's just looking at you. Saw you F smash. Recovered back on stage, and now he's a whole stock ahead. Gonna back throw, not gonna do it. Oh, oh! I'm a liar. That shouldn't have killed. You know what it is? He should have DI'd into him. Into into uh, Venya. Because if he DI'd in, that that's where you DI up throw. But the mix up is that you don't want to DI in because you'd be DIing towards the back the blast zone if he back throws. But you guys are smart. You guys got that. Um, kind of want to commentate with uh, DJ he's sitting on the couch there. It's my yeah, he's, he's, he's my boy. He never comes, never comes to these. You know, didn't tell me he was coming today. Doesn't participate. He just watches me. But we'll we'll figure that out next set. Um. Oh, back to PS2. Adi feeling like he did pretty good on this stage last time. He's gonna do it again. I want to see more Battlefield, just in general, and I, not in this specific matchup. I think, don't think that matters too much, but just in general, it's, you know, it's my favorite stage. Okay. Patient recovery. Didn't go on to stage and do anything fancy. Uh, I tried to do, I was getting a bit overzealous with what, what he wanted from the stage there, but Adi just sending him back off, taking 92% to start off this game three. Not looking too hot for Venya. You gotta imagine he's just thinking he needs a dash attack, needs uh, a landing nair, needs a fair, just to even it back up. Oh, up smash is out, and so is dash attack. Oh, I'm pretty sure he wanted the rising nair there, but it could have been, could have just been that he wasn't reading the, oh! Venya now reading the situation, not too much, I take it back. I was gonna say he's watching out for all these up smashes, but never mind. Down tilts are out. Jab gonna send uh, Venya off. Ooh, finally gets that landing there, but not gonna get anything from it. And this would be, I mean, obviously it would be considered an upset, not a, like, not too much of a big upset uh, if Adi does pull through. But it does, it does seal out uh, Venya's chances, or not, not entirely, but. Sends it to the losers early from getting that three P, which none of us want to see. And especially Adi getting all these up airs. Ooh, fair on the stage, not gonna do it. Just wanted him to, just wanted some space. Nair out of shield, fast enough to punish uh, an unspaced down tilt. Oh, 
It's the play. He's gonna get hit by that. It's so much damage. Man, is he gonna make it back? He got to tick again, but he didn't hold down. If he held down because of LSI, we've watched the beefy Smash Dudes video, and the bear gonna take it. We saw it earlier in bracket. Venya will just go off, knowing that you're too scared to jump while you're off stage. Ooh, okay, jab one. Uh, Venya, if he's gonna bring it back, I mean, he has some leeway. He can get, he can get boxed a bit now. I feel like I say that too much, that if he wants to bring it back now, he has to do it now. But no, it's, I mean, he's doing it. Oh, read the jump. Adi not gonna give that to him. Venya bringing things back, but Adi getting his his sour spot near into jab. It's not too much, but it's gonna back. Oh, terrible DI. He wasn't expecting that at all. He wanted the DI the down tilt for sure, making it harder for Venya to confirm the up smash. But Venya's been throwing out up smashes, uh, I think for a week now. Or not up smashes, F smashes. He's been using that move. Remembered it was a move that Greninja had, and it's been mixing people up. Uh, up air to up air. Oh, going for the air dodge read like he did in game one. And we're seeing we're seeing a tense neutral right now. Yeah, fair. It's a it's a, it's really a feels it doesn't have too many uh, follow ups, but it, it's a feels good move for Venya and I imagine any Greninja player actually. Dash attack gonna do the opposite of trading. It's gonna ignore uh, illusion. Oh, ooh, that was scary. On both their parts, actually. I'm sure Adi knows he barely got away with that illusion. Oh, terrible DI on the bear, but still living nonetheless. Oh, he read the jump from ledge, and oh no, Adi, Adi has to know. Down tilt. Watch out for down tilt. Oh. But if Venya knows he knows, he can go for something else entirely. Oh, if Venya had turned around, that could have been it. His edge guard could have could be it. But again. Ven Greninja not too good at uh, keeping people at the ledge, so you have you have to play neutral. Oh, but up smash can come out at any any second. So can dash attack, down tilt. Dash attack will only lead into a 50-50. Low ceiling with rage, and that's gonna take it. Venya clutching it out. It wasn't a hard clutch, but it was clutch nonetheless. Intense set from both players. That was a good one. That was dope. Yeah, I think the we're gonna see the the last down tilt or the last dash attack in a bit, and that's why Venya will opt to go for down tilt more than um, dash attack at the at those percents. This kill was so sick, what? right here, just like that edge guard. Oh, there's the shine. The shine into the up B. He's like, mm. uh, no, no, no. It's not sick because it, it could have been avoided. Whoa, wait, hold on, hold on. No, it was still sick. So we got to see it, like again because it's in the other kill. Yeah. But yeah, super sick. Oh. That was also really. Oh, sick. You, oh you like those? I, like anytime, those, those like, like the hella kill. deep stuff is always like. Even if uh, you know it's not super difficult. Well, look at that DI it's though. That's super terrible. fun to watch. Uh, what was he gonna say though? Oh yeah, he brought it back from one stock to three. Mm -hmm. Just a BT dub. And a dub from uh, Venya.